Nah, you're an idiot, mate. Stand down now. Australia is on fire. You from the media, tell the Prime Minister to go and get... And people are turning their anger on the Prime Minister, Scott Morrison. You're out, son. You are out. So what happened to Morrison? I have always believed in miracles. And his miracles. A man who as tourism boss signed off on this famous, or perhaps infamous, advert. Return on the line. Well, it was this very catchphrase that came back to bite Morrison. Hard. As fires ravaged the country in the lead up to Christmas, and some politicians were spotted helping out, it emerged that the Prime Minister was on an unannounced holiday in Hawaii. And despite days of public outcry, he only cut his vacation short by about 48 hours. But his actions once back on Australian soil didn't do much to improve the situation. The Prime Minister's decision to compensate volunteer firefighters only came after weeks of pressure from the opposition and after claiming that the firefighters want to be out there. In the period from Christmas to New Year, as the fires reached catastrophic levels, Mr Morrison made just one public appearance, despite finding time to host a cricket reception and hit the beach. While on another beach, the world saw unprecedented scenes of Australians huddling to escape the fires, as Morrison toured the country seemingly unable to secure a single handshake. Oh, really so good. How are you? I'm only shaking your hand if you give more funding to our RFS. So many people have lost their homes. The solution from a Prime Minister who prides himself in his marketing acumen a promotional video complete with upbeat music and for a short while a link for donations to his own party. <laughs> to make matters worse, on a visit to an island affected by fires, Morrison appeared not to realise lives have been lost there. For some of his critics, the Prime Minister's failure has been one of leadership in the face of an immediate disaster. For others, it's a failure to address the wider context of climate change. This has to stop. We can't keep forgetting and pretending that climate change isn't real. He has, however, acknowledged climate change in recent press conferences. Climate change has, has impacted on the world's weather patterns that have uh, led to where we are here today, to some extent. The ruling Liberal Party does not have a robust record of taking climate change seriously, though. Back in 2015, ministers were caught joking about rising sea levels affecting Pacific Island nations. But while climate change may have increased the likelihood and severity of the fires, it didn't cause them. In any case, climate change is a global problem which requires global responsibility. Many people strongly support Morrison's defence of the mining and energy industries which have long been at the heart of Australia's economy. But the public mood suggests he must also be seen to take leadership on climate change, particularly as the hot country will in all likelihood continue to be at the front line of the issue. This is coal, don't be afraid. But it may take a lot to convince the public that a man who brought a lump of coal into Parliament is serious about climate change. The don't be scared. Treasurer, the Treasurer you. knows the rule on crops.